everyone, Justin Crumley here with the Cujo Productions channel, back again with another edition of Cujo Productions Comic Book Haul. This is the weekly show in which I show you guys my comic book pickups for the week and uh, give my little thoughts about what I think of the series, if I'm just checking it out, or if I've been reading it for a while, if I'm going to continue to read it, or yeah. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so, every one of these videos has started off with this comic book series so far. It's the Avengers. Uh, no Surrender, this is part 10, this is issue 684. The Hulk is on the cover and he looks really pissed. That's the face everyone has right now, like, with uh, the bracket. <laughs> the March Madness bracket buster. <laughs> You guys know my opinion about this. I'm really enjoying this series. I uh, was a little nervous when they decided to do weekly, but so far it's been really good. I'm looking forward to seeing how this continues. By the way, if you guys haven't already, check out the new Avengers Infinity War trailer. It is awesome. I really do hope it's the last one we get before the movie comes out. The movie comes out in late April, which is uh, happens to be when I get my... Vacation, so that's a great way to start a vacation, I would say. Up next, Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. This is issue 301. Issue 300 was really cool. Uh, the cover art looks really awesome. Spider-Man on this cover kind of looks like uh, how he did in Ultimate Spider-Man, the Disney XD show. I probably just ruined this for myself and a bunch of Spider-Man fans just by bringing that up. I'm really enjoying this uh, title, actually. I think this is one of the better Spider-Man titles out there. Which is kind of fitting, because the TV show Spectacular Spider-Man was awesome. Up next, Titans, number 21. Uh, no Friends, No Hope. I don't know if that's the title of the story arc coming up. That's, uh, that's actually Arsenal on the cover there. If you guys know uh, his history, he... Uh, yeah, he had some drug problems. It was actually a really famous storyline, Green Lanterns and Green Arrow, or Green Lantern and Green Arrow. I forgot what the story, the the title of the story was, but it was like a Speedy, well, Arsenal. Before he was Arsenal, he was called Speedy. Was uh, like a drug addict, so it was pretty shocking for the time. So that's what this whole thing is kind of harkening back to, and I think that's really interesting. I love when recent comic book storylines dig into like past things well not all the time but anyway uh when it's good it's good and uh i'm really loving this series so far little side note this was actually the last copy at my comic book store so i got the last one just one of those little victories you don't expect to have but you love when you get up next is Astonishing X-Men number 9, and spoiler alert, there's going to be a lot of X-Men this week. <laughs> uh, anyway, really enjoying this X-Men comic book. I think diehard X-Men fans should check this out if if they're, you're not already. Uh, even if you're not like a diehard X-Men fan, check this out. It is amazing. It is worth it. Only nine issues in, so you don't have a whole lot of catching up to do. Bishop looks kind of weird on this. Look at look at this. Like his like his arm is like stretching. He looks like he's turning into a tree. Okay, up next, all new Wolverine number thirty two. Uh, really enjoying this comic book so far. I actually just read the last issue like a few days ago. I have been really slow with reading comic books. I've been so busy. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is actually one of my uh, favorite titles I'm picking up. Well, maybe not up like top five, but still a favorite. I've been picking it up for a while now. I actually really like Laura Kinney as a character, and I'm looking forward to how Logan, the original Logan, being alive again is going to affect her. I think they should do like a story where they meet up again. I think that would be that'd be really cool. Marvel, get to it. That's friggin' awesome. Still picking this up, and I'm still enjoying it. 
And the last X-Men comic book on my comics haul for this week. X-Men Blue, number 23. Um, this is uh, after the Venom storyline, or uh, Poison X, I think it was. I think it was called Poison X storyline. So, uh, no tie-in here, at least to my knowledge. Uh, we got the cover art looks really cool. So I'm looking forward to uh, reading this. The story arc is called uh, The Last X-Men Standing. So that title sounds awesome. And uh, I'm looking forward to reading this. Up next, Star Wars, Darth Vader, issue number 13. What can I say about this that I haven't already said? Awesome title. Awesome. Just awesome. I say awesome too much, but I don't care. This is awesome. Definitely pick it up if you're a fan of Star Wars. I can't recommend this enough. And for our last pickup of the week, it is The Flash, number 42. This is one of my favorite DC titles. And uh, the last issue was a doozy, to say the least. I'm really looking forward to seeing where they go from here. And uh, this is called uh, Perfect Storm. So that's a, that's a cool title. Really looking forward to read. Oh, down here it says uh, "End of the Race." So uh, is Barry Allen never gonna put on the suit again? Is uh, is the adult Wally West gonna take over as the main DC Universe's Flash? I wouldn't be above that. I like Barry, but I wouldn't be above Wally West taking over. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to check out my social media links. My Facebook page, my Twitter page, my Instagram page. Links to all of them is in the description below. Also, check out my Redbubble page if you want to buy some merchandise. Uh, have a great day, guys. If you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better. Until next time, I'm Justin Crumley, and this is Cujo Productions, signing out.